All right, YouTube, 106 Falconer. Um, <clears throat> just a quick video. I got to change out the um, the uh, lift ram from my GX345. As you can see, I already have it out. Um, you can see it there. Uh, it was it was kind of a it, well. It's not hard to get it out. It just just pissed me off because the uh, the clevis pin. I had to cut that out. I had to cut the bolt out, the shoulder bolt out that uh, holds the end of the ram in place. Um, and the line split. See where it ruptured right at the end here. Um, and that's even with it had it had the wrap on there. You can you can see the wrap here how it's how it's. Uh, um, messed up there but it's not through so I don't know how this one went through how it split but of course it happens you know in the middle of winter so but anyways if you've never taken the uh, back part of your tractor off it's real easy it's just uh, two uh, two nuts and bolts on either side of the front here you go on through the back and under here the ones on the inside are kind of tight to get to I, I replaced mine out a long time ago with uh, with stainless stainless bolts and nuts um, and then you have two two bolts that go right through here um, that go into the uh, extruded U nuts so they're they're set in there they're just right right there then you uh, disconnect your your uh, seat safety switch, run that down through the hole, and uh, and bam, Bob's your uncle. Just lift it off. So let's do that real quick here. Set it off to the side. Excuse me. <clears throat> then you got to lift your fuel tank out. Um, let me get a bucket to set that on. Just a second. Forgot to do that. You can disconnect it. Um, disconnect the fuel line and uh, and your fuel gauge, the electrical wires, which I have that disconnected. Fuel gauge doesn't work on this, hasn't worked since my nephew dropped the tractor out of the back of a truck and broke it. But the fuel tank you just lift out. Like a soul. So I'm gonna run this over, set it in a bucket. And then you have access to your lift ram um, let me show you here so right down here mounts through here the the uh, the ram rod I suppose goes through there and then uh, the back of the ram just fits up in this little gap here and this cut out and then you stick your clevis pin through there uh, like I say mine were so froze on there that I had to get the saws all out and and cut them off um, it's soft metal so it cut easy plenty of room to get the saws all in there um, it's it's a it's an easy job I got the new Ram used Ram off of eBay and then I bought the fasteners from my John Deere dealer just because I wanted to make sure I had the right stuff in there and and uh, freaking 12 bucks or 11 bucks for a clevis pin through John Deere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the new one, 
ready to put in there. I'm gonna uh, never seize the clevis pin. Um, Cause like I say, this thing here was just froze right in there. There was no way to get it out. Um, and even the front, the, the uh, shoulder bolt with the nut on there, the nut stripped when I was trying to get it out. And you don't got a lot of room to work in there. Um, I dropped the, uh, I dropped the uh, lift attachments off the plow so that you can you can run this back and you can get in there better but it's still it's still a tight fit um, let me show you real quick here the new ram that I got All right, so here's the uh, the new used ram I got off of eBay. It looks like it looks brand new compared to compared to the old ram. But even this one with the hose, you can see here. Come on. Well, it's it's uh, it's indenting right there, same spot that that one split at. And that's because when it goes in there, it uh, hits one of the fins on the differential. Um, all they had to do to solve that problem was put a freaking 90 on here like they have here and run that straight across, but they did not. So what I'm going to do is I was going to wrap rubber around there, but uh, I found... A, uh, back with uh, one of my Jettas, I had to replace a bunch of crap in there. So I bought a, a kit from ECS Tuning. Well, I never used this piece. So I think this is going to work perfect. I'm just going to clip it here. And it'll go on and uh, and protect that spot. Hopefully, if uh, if it works out the way I want it to. I mean, obviously, the wire wrap they put on there, even though it was not cut through, still allowed this to to uh, to burst. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, I'm putting the uh, the lift ram in. Um, if I can get freaking zoomed in on this thing here or get the focus in focus anyways what I had to do was that elbow I had to slit it the whole way because it was uh, double chambered <laughs> I was like son of a bitch so I don't know if this is going to work or not um, I got to get the clevis pin in here which I've uh, never seized. And then here's the shoulder bolt with the, with the brass bushing. Um, and then the new nut and washer. Is that? All right. Um, 20 bucks for, for them things from, from John Deere. The clevis pin. The shoulder bolt, the brass bushing, the brass shoulder bushing, and the nut in the washer. Now the other thing is here, right here, this this piece here is for disengaging your transmission. All right, so that so your your hydraulic line goes underneath that. Um, <coughs> there's a ball bearing in there that um, so when you pull back it it will go into one of these steps down in here I don't know if you can see them but anyways this ball bearing is froze so this this tractor you cannot disengage the transmission from from the back here you have to you have to move right here the other problem with the tractor is my uh, differential lock is froze um, it's frozen the unlocked position, which is good. 
So this summer I'm gonna have to pull the rear end out and go over all that crap. But let me uh, get this stuff put in there and uh, we'll get it fired up and check for any leaks. I still don't know if that, if that elbow is gonna work on there or not that I put on. All right, so let's see about getting this prick in there. Can't believe $11 for a clevis pin. I should have uh, just went to Harbor Freight or Home Depot or whatever and bought one for a, uh, um, a normal price. All right, put that in there. Then what we gotta do is here is get uh, the uh, that shoulder bolt goes through there, but then we got to have this piece right here's where that brass bushing goes through. So they don't they don't give you a lot of room to work on this thing. Um, oh crap! All right, let me get that back up there. I mean, still, it's not that it's not that hard of a job. It's just uh, it's just one of them one of them stupid jobs. And why do they always, you know, break in the middle of? Son of a bitch! Did I knock my nut off? And then this washer, the opening on this washer is bigger than the than the threaded end of the of the uh, shoulder bolt. Oh, there it is. All right, and this is uh, 13 millimeter, 15 millimeter. Let me try to get that sucker in there. this on do 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 I suppose uh, 13 years isn't bad isn't bad run time I mean I piss and moan about the tractor all the time but I mean, yeah this thing is <laughs> this thing has been through through hell and back and uh, shit I don't know why I'm hooking that up yet because if that don't work I'm gonna have to take that back out well I got it started now let me see if I can get the, uh, the hydraulic line hooked back up here this one which it took uh, almost two weeks for uh, John Deere to from the local shop to get me them parts in and then uh, when they came in because they said they didn't have any of that stuff in stock then when I got them they said they had the stuff in stock the whole time I was like son of a pup because that ram I mean I ordered that that was here in like three days then I sat here waiting and waiting and waiting. What the hell size was that? Dirt, bitter, bitter. Was that three quarters? I can't remember. No, that was bigger. That's why I had my uh, crescent wrench out. Yep. All right. Oh, that's right. You uh, you hold the line tight and then turn the the nut on the solid line. 
you hold the flexible line, still turn the turn the nut on the solid line. So we will get that uh, hooked up. Then this one just goes right there. So I'll get that started. We'll get everything fired up and uh, check for leaks. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, YouTube, so I got everything hooked up. Get everything tightened up where it should be. Hydraulic lines hopefully tightened up. So let's fire up. I, I topped off the, uh, the uh, fluid reservoir. So let's see what will happen here. That'll work. That'll get me another uh, freaking uh, 13 years out of the tractor. So, <laughs> anyways, that's it. Easy job. So, videos longer than it should be. Of course, all my videos are. So, uh, but there you go, man. But I would I would recommend ordering your your shoulder bolt, all that stuff online if you can't find one locally, because. Uh, John Deere prices are just so freaking expensive, man. All right, that's it. See ya, bitches. <laughs>